A toxic relationship is one that consistently undermines your sense of well-being. The negative patterns in toxic relationships leave one or both partners feel drained or unhappy most of the time. Occasional disagreements or conflicts are normal in any relationship, but continual pattern of emotional harm, disrespect, and manipulation leads to deterioration in mental and emotional health. In this video, we'll delve into what it feels like to be in a toxic relationship and discuss the 12 red flags to watch for in a person. And as a bonus, at the end, I will give you one the most important, most effective tool to ward off toxic people because, yeah, uh, it's better not to allow them in your life than deal with having to get rid of them later. So this video is a must watch for anyone seeking clarity and support. It's it's essential to acknowledge that we all deserve to be loved, respected, and valued in our relationships. Many struggle to identify whether they are in a toxic relationship or not. They might feel emotionally confused, unsure of what's normal and what's not, and feel stuck in a never-ending cycle of self-doubt and uncertainty. The toxic person could be your partner, a friend, or a family member, might make you feel guilty for wanting space or time for yourself and for your priorities or manipulate you into doing things against your best interests. You might even try to convince yourself that it's not that bad, that your partner, parent, or friend loves you deep down and that you're just being too sensitive. But the truth is, you know deep down when something feels off, when you're not being treated with the respect and care you deserve or you're seeking. Emotional confusion is common experience and it's not your fault. You are not crazy. You are not overreacting. One of the most common signs of a toxic relationship is emotional manipulation. This can manifest in many ways, from playing on your emotions to get what they want, to making you feel guilty for not meeting their expectations, gaslighting, lying, putting you on the spot in front of other people, devaluing you, etc. Another sign is a lack of support. You might feel unsupported in your goals, dreams, and aspirations as if you're trying out there all on your own and you're, on, and you're totally alone in your struggles. You might feel belittled personally and your accomplishments might be belittled. And you might feel like you're just not good enough. You will be experiencing constant criticism. Toxic people constantly find fault in everything you do, in everything you are. They might criticize your appearance, your choices, your values, your strategies, your speech, how you clean the house, anything. And they'll criticize you in front of others, not just in your face. Constant stress and anxiety are common. You might feel like you're walking on eggshells, worried about how the person will react or if you accidentally trigger some argument or an emotional breakdown. You feel drained. Instead of feeling uplifted or supported, you leave most interactions feeling emotionally exhausted, unfulfilled. You feel like the entire interaction was about the other person and somehow you didn't do a good job meeting their needs even though no one asked you about yours. Loss of self-confidence becomes the natural consequence because of regularly being belittled, criticized, or manipulated. So you start to self-doubt your own worth, your abilities, your looks, anything. 
Toxic relationships are unpredictable. Emotional highs and lows are extreme. You might feel euphoric when things are going well, but the lows are going to be equally deep. <laughs> the higher the highs, the low the lows. You might feel euphoric and then you'll feel neglected or the other person will be emotionally withdrawn and it's painful and becomes overwhelming at times it's like whenever they do something nice for you and make you feel great for a moment then they'll come around and make you pay for it by starting an argument and pointing out how much they do for you accusing you of being selfish and ungrateful you'll experience isolation Either because the toxic person tries to cut you off from your friends or family or because you're embarrassed about the situation and pull back from your support network. Sometimes you're just too depressed because of the whole thing and you would rather bury your head in a pillow than go outside and socialize. There might be dishonesty, secret keeping, betrayal, manipulative behaviors, that make it difficult to build trust and maintain trust in the relationship. Yet, you feel like you're supposed to trust the person and it's your fault for not trusting them. You might feel extreme fear in toxic relationships uh, because of fear of physical harm, emotional abandonment, rejection, Physical abuse is very serious and should be reported, but it might be a situation where you tell yourself it's not that bad. Perhaps it's a push here, a shove there, them yelling at you, using threatening language, even though you're not actually physically hurt, but you are hurt inside. You might even think that somehow you provoked the situation and the person. So you live in fear of the next occurrence, always kind of micromanaging yourself not to do something wrong. So I want to take a moment to talk to those who might be watching this and recognizing themselves in these descriptions. I want you to know that you are not alone and that you're not crazy. You deserve to be loved, respected and valued in your relationships. When you think of your own relationships, are there any signs that you've been ignoring or downplaying? Are there any moments when you felt small, belittled, or unloved? How frequently do these moments occur? Think of the qualities of the person you have in mind as I go through the 12 flags giving away a toxic person. Number one, constant drama. Toxic people often seem to attract or create drama, whether through exaggerated emotions, frequent conflicts, or creating crises. They may love stirring the pot, creating tension or arguments between others, or make every situation about themselves. Number two, lack of accountability they never seem to take responsibility for their actions or mistakes when something goes wrong they'll find ways to shift the blame onto others play the victim or deny their involvement they may refuse to apologize or change their behavior number three manipulative behavior toxic people often manipulate others to get what they want it could be through it could be through guilt tripping, playing the victim, lying, or turning people's emotions against them. They might twist the facts, withhold information, or maintain control over situations or people. They have an endless arsenal of manipulative behaviors. If you feel manipulated, it's cause you are. Number four, constant criticism. Rather than offering constructive feedback, showing care. Toxic individuals are often very critical or judgmental, making others feel inferior or incapable. They may nitpick or belittle to undermine someone's confidence and achievements. 
Number five, lack of empathy. Toxic people may show little understanding or compassion or care for the feeling or needs of others. They may be dismissive of your emotions, of your experiences, and they struggle to show genuine concern. I shouldn't say struggle because they don't care. So they basically don't show any concern for anyone but themselves. Six, jealousy and envy. If someone seems envious of your success or happiness rather than supportive and celebratory, it can be a sign of toxicity. They might downplay your achievements, compare themselves to you, or try to sabotage your progress to make themselves feel better. They might um, covet what you have. Sometimes they'll try literally steal it and cheat to get it. <laughs> Number seven control and dominance. Toxic people try to control situations and dominate people around them. They may physically intimidate, emotionally manipulate, gaslight, or even physically overpower or physically restrict a person to literally control them. Number eight, inconsistency. Their behavior can be erotic. They might be charming and affectionate one minute then completely dismissive the next this unpredictability makes you feel insecure or conflicted about where you stand with them what comes to mind is people with borderline personality disorder or characteristics they have short fuse and predictable behavior the impulsive dangerous Confusing to be around because they can also be charming, even though they're dangerous. <laughs> and even show consideration from time to time, which really confuses everybody around them. Number nine, emotional vampires. After spending time with a toxic person, you may feel emotionally drained and exhausted. They take more from a relationship than they give back and might monopolize conversations constantly seek attention they want to be in the spotlight or expect you to cater to their needs without reciprocation they feel entitled number 10 defensive and very angry at times they may have quick tempers or react defensively to even the smallest of feedback if you try to address any issue or set any boundaries, they will lash out and they will shut you down or they'll escalate the situation rather than engage in a healthy discussion. They have a very thin skin. They might punish you by stonewalling or doing something to retaliate against you and to point out that you are not better than them. Number 11, boundary violations. Toxic people often disregard your personal boundaries, whether emotional or physical. They will push you to do things you are uncomfortable with and maybe even against your best interest. They will dismiss your needs and preferences entirely. Respecting boundaries is key to any healthy relationship and toxic people tend to ignore this because they can't form healthy relationships. <laughs> Number 12 of the red flags is using others. They may use people as stepping stones to achieve whatever they are after without caring much for the impact on those individuals it's kind of like the end justifies the means and they will roll over anybody they'll throw you under the bus if it serves them their relationships are often transactional and they engage people that they have something to gain from if this sounds like relationships with narcissists, that's because narcissists are some of the most toxic people around. In this video, I talk about that specifically. I will put it in the description down below and at the end of this video 
for you to watch next. There's also a video on how to leave a narcissist which would be similar to how to leave a toxic person in general. And as I promised in the beginning, there is one most important, most powerful tool you can deploy to ward off a toxic person. One more thing before I tell you, make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll get more content from me and life intelligence so the most effective tool to ward off a toxic person is setting and maintaining strict and strong boundaries boundaries are essential for protecting your emotional and mental well-being and toxic people, they'll try to ignore your boundaries. That's why they need to be strong and strict. When you set firm, clear boundaries, you limit their ability to manipulate you and to take advantage of you. Boundaries don't just protect you. They also send a strong, clear message that their behavior is unacceptable making it hard for a toxic person to remain in your life so maintaining these boundaries empowers you even if the toxic person doesn't change maybe they're already in your life this will minimize their impact on your well-being don't let toxicity drain your happiness empower yourself with knowledge and take that first step towards a healthy relationship today thank you for watching i appreciate you